Okay, so when we look through this question, it's asking us to write this expression of two fractions as a single fraction in its simplest form. So, like all fraction questions, we've got to look at the idea of having a common denominator. So, when we look at this, uh, there's no obvious common denominator, so the quickest way of doing it is to multiply the two denominators together to make a common denominator. So, the common denominator is going to be B bracket A minus B. So just like if we were trying to turn a half into tenths, we'd find what we multiply by and do the same to top and bottom of the fraction, then you measure the denominator uh, to get five tenths here. Then we're going to do the same to these fractions to end up with the same denominator on the bottom. So when we look at 3 over b, we want to turn it into something with b a minus b. So that means we must have multiplied by a minus b so it's going to be 3 brackets a minus b and that'll be the equivalent fraction with the common denominator there and the same for 2 a minus b we need it to have something with b a minus b on it so what we had to multiply this by to make this look like this is by multiplying by b so again we have to multiply the top the numerator position by b as well so basically then the 3 over b plus the 2 over a minus b has become 3a minus b over b a minus b plus 2b over b a minus b. Well, just as if you had 2 fifths plus um, 2 fifths, then the numerators get added and the common denominator stays the same. The same works with algebra fractions. So we end up with 3a minus b plus 2b over b a minus b. Then we remember the question says that it wants the answer in simplest form. So we look to see if anything could be put together to get like terms together and so forth. Well, we can see here that if we multiply the bracket out, if we expand it, then we would have 3a take away 3b plus the 2b all over the common denominator and here we can see then we've got negative 3b plus 2b well that would leave us with 3a is not being touched because it's got no like terms to join together negative 3b plus 2b leaves us with negative b over b bracket a minus b so that's going to be our final answer but of course we should check you know we should check that this actually works um, it's worth three marks so we've got some time to spend in the exam to check it so if you think about the original fraction um, if I let a equal um, well, a's got to be bigger than b really because of the way they've written a minus b so I'm going to say let a equal um, 3 and b equal 1 just keep it simple now I haven't used um, I could use a as 2 actually keep it even simpler so let's have a look what we've got then. So the original fraction said we'd be doing 3 over the b value plus 2 over a minus b. So 2 take away 1, which is 1. Uh, so 3 over 1 plus 2 over 1 is 5. So if we now put those values into what we think is our final answer, it should give us the same answer as 5. So let's have a look. It's telling us to do 3 of the a value. So 3 times 2 is 6. Take away the b value, which is 1, over the b value, which was 1. Uh, the a value 2 take away 1 is 1 so we've got 6 take away 1 is 5 5 over 1 is 5 so we're happy the check worked so we're quite confident the final answer will be